How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson and for this video you find me sitting in the 2023 Toyota 4Runner 40th Anniversary Edition. And in this video I want to give you my likes and dislikes about this capable off-roader from Toyota so that you have a better idea before you buy. And to also find out whether this 40th Anniversary trim is worth your money. Now there's been 40 years worth of 4Runners spanning over 5 generations. This 5th gen version has by far been around for the longest since 2009 and it got a facelift in 2014 to look like what you see in front of you right now and for the 40th anniversary edition there's only going to be 4,040 units made they're available in three colors white barcelona red metallic and this midnight black metallic they're also only available in four-wheel drive only and with delivery charges, you can expect the MSRP to be a little over $47,000. But if you've been shopping around for 4Runners for a while, there's most likely a markup on these things. And considering that the 40th anniversary edition is even more rare, a markup is even more likely. So if you've been shopping around for these 4Runners for a while, let me know in the comments what kind of pricing you've been seeing. Let's get this review started on the outside first. The biggest giveaway of these 40th anniversary editions is the Heritage Graphics. This is a really nice homage to the Toyota Hilux off-road racing back in the 80s. I think this is a tasteful decal that's small enough to be noticeable, but not big enough to be obnoxious. And I think these stripes look really good against this black midnight metallic color. It also looks good in the white. Now I haven't personally seen the red version before, but out of the three, I think the white is my favorite. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most. With this special edition, you can also find bronze colored 17 inch wheels. Up front, there's a color matched heritage grille with the bronze colored Toyota emblem. And at the lift gate, there's a bronze 4Runner emblem and a special 40th anniversary badge. And if you open the hatch, there's a special Easter egg highlighting the five generations of the 4Runner. Aside from those upgrades, the 40th anniversary is basically an SR5 premium trim model. And that will become even more clear when we step inside. This is just my opinion, of course, but I'm giving the exterior design a rating of 7 out of 10. This 4Runner still looks good, but this design has been around for a while and it's getting a bit stale. But with the Heritage graphics, it infuses a bit of retro styling and it looks more interesting than other 4Runners. Moving inside, you'll find some extra small features to indicate that this is the special edition. For instance, you've got a 40th anniversary badging indicating that this is one of 4,040 units. The way it's presented, it looks like it's number one out of 4,040. Rest assured, this vehicle isn't that special because the other 40th anniversary 4Runner that I've driven also has this exact badge. There's also the 40th anniversary floor mats, 40th anniversary logo on the seat's headrest. There's bronze color stitching all over the seats and the panels. And there's also a bronze colored cross stitch shift knob. And also on the inside is where you'll notice that this is pretty much an SR5 premium. There's no automatic climate controls. You just have very old school temperature dials. There's no automatic on off headlight setting. Although strangely, there's an automatic high beam feature. So this car has a small touch of that old school feel because there are some manual things about it. As for cargo room, there's plenty of space here at 47.2 cubic feet. Fold the second row down and that grows to almost 90 cubic feet of space. So for this interior, I'm giving it a rating of 6 out of 10. There's really nothing special about the interior, but the 40th anniversary pieces add some collectability to this whole car. And if I personally own this, I would get some more rugged floor mats and set these 40th anniversary floor mats aside in case you want to sell the car to a collector in the future. Now in terms of technology, there's really nothing special about this 40th anniversary edition. You still get the same 8 inch touchscreen. This has Toyota's older infotainment system. It's a bit dated by today's standards, but it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, albeit a wired connection still. And this also has a built-in navigation system. 
Safety wise, it comes with Toyota Safety Sense, so it has dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure warning, and pre collision system with pedestrian detection. And I love how all Forerunners come standard with blind spot monitoring system and rear cross traffic alert. So, technology wise, I'm giving this Forerunner a rating of six out of 10 because there's really nothing that pushes the envelope in terms of technology. But I do love how there's a lot of safety tech built into this Forerunner. Power wise, this still has the four liter V6 making 270 horsepower and 278 pound feet of torque. This is a good old reliable engine and with proper routine maintenance, I don't think you'll have a problem bringing this well into the 200,000 mile mark. This engine doesn't make the Forerunner feel powerful though and you won't find the same kind of driving thrill that you'll find in smaller displacement turbocharged engine but this will get the job done. However, that job will come at the expense of pretty poor gas mileage. This gets 16 city, 19 highway, and 17 miles per gallon combined. It also doesn't help that this 4Runner only comes with five gears. It does take regular 87 octane, so that will at least give you a break on cost. So in the power department, I'm giving this a rating of six out of 10 because the gas mileage isn't very good and there's also lackluster performance. However, when you think of Toyota reliability, this engine is a very good example of it. Now, when it comes to the driving experience of the 4Runner, the ride quality is pretty good. This is a comfortable SUV to drive considering that this is a body on frame construction. Now there's a lot of noise coming out of the engine bay when you're getting up to speed, but once you're at steady state cruising speeds, it's not a very noisy experience. This 40th anniversary edition comes with mud and snow tires, which keep the noise levels pretty low, a lot lower than the all-terrain tires you can find on the TRD Pro model. Handling wise, it's pretty typical of other body on frame construction vehicles. Not very good. Most SUVs and crossovers nowadays are built on a unibody construction, which means that it has independent rear suspension, lower ground clearance, and also a more agile handling. This 4Runner is a more traditional SUV. It has a solid rear axle and it has more ground clearance at 9.6 inches for this four wheel drive model. Speaking of four wheel drive, this has the electronic dial for switching between two wheel drive to four wheel drive and four low. The TRD off-road and the TRD Pro models have the lever type and I wish this 40th anniversary had the manual type instead for the more retro look and feel. So while this has less refined ride and handling characteristics compared to other unibody construction SUVs, this isn't a really fair comparison because the 4Runner is more like an off-roading tool that you could also happen to take for commutes. Therefore, I'm giving the overall driving experience a rating of seven and a half out of 10, because this thing can go places where most SUVs can't, and it can still give you a decent ride considering how this SUV is built. But compared to the other TRD Pro and the TRD off-road models, this one doesn't come with a locking rear differential. So while it's still capable, it's not going to be as capable as the other trims. So overall, considering the styling, the interior, the technology, power, and the driving experience, I'm giving the 4Runner an overall score of seven out of 10. It's unfair to compare this to other average crossovers and SUVs, because this feels more like a dedicated off-road tool built to appeal to an off-roading enthusiast. And over the years, I've driven several of these through some decently complex off-road courses. And what this 4Runner can do is really impressive. And to no one's surprise, there's a huge dedicated group of people deeply in love with these vehicles as a result. But to answer my original question, is the 40th anniversary edition worth it? That really depends on the markup, doesn't it? But I think in the long run, these will become collectibles. Toyota never did a special edition of the 20th or the 30th anniversary edition. They never built a special edition as unique as this one. And considering that there's only 4,040 units of these things, these will be extremely hard to find. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've learned something from this video, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we make a new video. 
Let me wrap it up right there. I want to thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. My name's Hanson. This has been the 2023 Toyota 4Runner 40th Anniversary Special Edition, and I'll see you in the next one.